We hope you were captivated by our previous video, where we journeyed from the smallest building blocks of matter to the vast expanses of galaxies, in search of a universal footprint. And where did our quest lead us? To the magnificent and enigmatic Pi. Brace yourself, for Pi is about to shatter all your preconceived notions. Pi is not just any number, it is a force of nature that permeates every corner of our universe. Behold the wonder of Pi, for it encompasses not only the double helix of DNA but also the vibrant hues of rainbows. And the very core of our vision in the pupils of our eyes. Witness its grandeur as it emerges in the undulating rings formed by raindrops falling into water, and marvel at its ubiquity in the waves, ripples, and spectra that grace our world. From the colors of the spectrum to the harmonies of music, Pi is an omnipresent force that pervades all aspects of our existence. Pi even weaves itself into the fabric of sound waves and color spectra, and has recently revealed itself in the vibrations of superstrings, those elusive energy loops that exist within subatomic particles. Yet, despite our tireless efforts to understand it, Pi remains a mystery. It is as if the universe has a profound understanding of mathematics, a knowledge that eludes us mere mortals. As Eugene Wigner, the renowned physicist, once remarked Pi as, the miracle of the appropriateness of the language of mathematics for the formulation of the laws of physics is a wonderful gift which we neither understand nor deserve. But Pi is not content to remain an enigma. It reaches far beyond the confines of mathematics and science, to the very essence of our being. It is a cosmic force that transcends life and death, and binds us all in a universal embrace. Pi makes you and me one and the same, forever intertwined with the vast and wondrous universe that we call home. Pi, despite being an irrational number, is still used extensively in many areas of modern science and technology. However, the question arises, how accurate are these calculations that rely on an approximation of Pi? Many people believe that Pi can be approximated to 3.14, but this approximation is not entirely accurate. For example, if we calculate the area of a 10 meter circle using this value of Pi, we would have an error of 2 centimeters. Similarly, if we were to cover a football ground using this approximation, we would not have enough covers to cover the penalty area. The accuracy of Pi becomes even more important when we consider larger scales. For instance, if we were to calculate the circumference of the Earth using the approximate value of Pi, we would have an error of 10 kilometers. Similarly, even after using up to five decimal places, calculating the revolution of the Earth in the solar system would still result in an error of 400,000 meters. If we were to try to calculate the circumference of the Milky Way galaxy with the maximum 15 decimal places supported by a 64-bit computer, there would still be an error of approximately 8,000 miles. This goes to show that even the most powerful computers are limited by the inaccuracy of Pi's approximation. Discovering the value of Pi has been a fascinating journey for mathematicians throughout history. One of the most intriguing methods used was the ancient Greek mathematician Archimedes' method of exhaustion, which involved inscribing and circumscribing polygons around a circle to calculate its circumference. With each increase in the number of sides, Archimedes was able to obtain increasingly accurate approximations of Pi. His final approximation, using 96-sided polygons, was accurate to two decimal places. Aryabhata, an Indian mathematician and astronomer, accurately calculated the value of Pi to four decimal places in AD 500, and his groundbreaking work in this area greatly contributed to the development of astronomy. But that was just the beginning. Indian mathematicians in the 14th century developed the concept of infinite series to calculate Pi. The renowned Indian mathematician Madhava created an infinite series for Pi using the arctangent, which was later refined by Nilikanta to increase its accuracy. This series was later independently rediscovered by James Gregory and Leibniz in the 17th century, and is now commonly known as the Madhava-Leibniz series. 
During the same era, the remarkable mathematician Ludolf van Seulen dedicated a tireless 25 years to utilizing Archimedes' polygon method in order to precisely calculate pi to an astounding 35 decimal places, employing polygons with trillions of faces in the process. Ultimately, after a life devoted to the pursuit of mathematical perfection, he passed away, but his legacy lives on, with his exact calculation of pi engraved on his death stone for all to admire. The 17th century mathematician John Wallace discovered a formula that related pi to an infinite product, which allowed for the calculation of pi to many decimal places. This formula was later refined by Leonhard Euler in the 18th century, who used it to calculate pi to over 20 decimal places. Enter, Sir Isaac Newton, who derived a formula from the infinity series created by Madhava, combined with his own calculus, to obtain an even more accurate value for pi. This new formula was also an infinite series, which went on and on. This is formula, is still used in calculators and computers as value of pi. Let's look at biological life on Earth, from the uniformity of cells to the complexity of life, the process of morphogenesis is a true wonder of nature. As an embryo develops into an intricate organism with a brain, backbone, and limbs, a hidden code guides the growth. In 1952, the brilliant mind of Alan Turing, known as the father of computer science, cracked the code with a groundbreaking mathematical model. This model revealed simple biophysical principles that led to the discovery of pi patterns within the very building blocks of life itself. The stripes of a zebra are a prime example of how pi can be found in nature. According to a study published in the journal Royal Society Open Science, the width of a zebra's stripes is related to the circumference of its body. In other words, the larger the zebra, the wider its stripes will be. Furthermore, the spacing between the stripes is also related to the animal's size. This relationship between size and pattern is encoded by the value of pi. But the zebra is not the only animal whose pattern is influenced by pi. The spots of a leopard, for instance, also follow a pattern dictated by the constant. A study conducted by researchers at the University of Bristol found that the spacing between the spots on a leopard's fur is related to the curvature of its body. Specifically, the researchers found that the ratio of spot spacing to body curvature is equal to pi. This relationship between pi and pattern is not limited to the animal kingdom, either. In fact, pi has been found to influence the size and spacing of many patterns, both natural and man-made. For example, the spirals in a sunflower and the branching pattern of trees are both related to the constant. The arrangement of seeds in a pineapple, the scales on a pine cone, and the ripples in sand dunes are also influenced by pi. The most accurate value of pi now found in about 62 trillion and was achieved by University of Applied Sciences of the Grisorn in Chur, Switzerland, on the 19th of August, 2021. Using the Chudnovsky algorithm, they calculated pi to a mind-boggling 62.8 trillion digits in just 108 days, beating the previous record by a staggering 12.8 trillion digits. This feat was accomplished with the help of a supercomputing system boasting a terabyte of memory, two AMD E7542 CPUs, and 38 hard disk drives with a capacity of 16 terabytes each. In total, a mind-bending 310 terabytes of storage was dedicated to the calculation, with an additional 180 terabytes used for cached calculation data. The result? A massive 63 terabytes of storage space was taken up by the final calculation. Even after all these calculations, Pi reveals no pattern or end in sight. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, the ubiquitous presence of Pi reminds us that it is not just a mathematical curiosity, but a fundamental aspect of the physical laws that govern our world. Until we unlock its final secrets, we can never be certain that our calculations are truly accurate. It is as if the universe itself is holding back a vital piece of information, teasing us with the tantalizing prospect of discovery. Thanks for watching. 
please do like share and subscribe.